Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the January 2015 Grade 5-6 Contest Question 16, which also came up in the Grade 7, 8, and 9, 10 contest. So the question is, each one of the edges of a cube is colored either yellow or blue. Every face of the cube has at least one yellow edge. What is the smallest number of yellow edges? Alright, so now what we first want to find out is the minimum number of yellow edges that we need for them to touch six faces. Alright, so we know that in a cube there are six faces, four around and one at the top and one at the bottom as shown here. And we know that every single edge on a cube touches two different faces. So for example, this edge at the bottom touches this face and also the bottom face. And just one more example, this edge right here touches this face and this face. Alright, so if we have six faces and one edge touches two faces, we have six divided by two edges, which is six divided by two is three edges minimum to touch the six faces. And now I will show you why three is actually enough for this to work. Okay, so to s starting off to draw the first yellow edge, it doesn't really matter where, which one we pick, so we will just use the bottom one. Okay, now we know that this edge touches the bottom face and also touches this front face. Okay, so that's two faces already touched, so we have four other faces that haven't been touched yet by a yellow edge, and that would be the three, the two side ones, the one in the back, as we can see, and the top one. So we need to find an edge that touches two of those. And that would be this edge right here, because this edge touches not only the right side face, but also the back face. Okay, so now we have two yellow edges, and we have one, two, three, and then the back side, four, faces touched. So now we have only two faces left to be touched, which is the top face and the left side face. So of course the only edge that is that can touch both is this edge right here. And we can see that this edge of course touches the top and is also one of the four edges that touches the left side face. So therefore, we know that three yellow edges is enough to touch the six faces of the cube. Now we know that this is true because we know from earlier that at least three yellow edges must be used and we also showed that three is enough for this to work. So therefore, we know that the smallest number of yellow edges to touch six faces is three. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carewithtests.com.